hello all welcome to the channel this is be square and today i'm gonna show you how to make a bearing load simulation in uh, solidworks and uh, we will also discuss uh, how to make a custom coordinate system for the study so i am starting the tutorial so for that uh, I need a custom coordinate system for uh, this wall because uh, we are doing a simulation for this uh, wall. Okay, so get here uh, point and select here arc and uh, select this one. Okay, now once more get here coordinate and click right. Okay, fine. Here you can see that we have a custom coordinate. Okay, fine so just uh, simulation new study and get here static click right first uh, apply material so here i am applying iron in uh, malleable cast iron apply and close okay fine now fix uh, right click here and fix geometry so these two all will be fixed during simulation okay fine okay so just here right click and uh, here you can find a bearing load click here and uh, here you need to select the faces so i am selecting these faces in uh, load is in uh, upward direction because uh, when the sap is uh, going minus y direction so so the reaction force will going upward direction automatically so the i am choosing upward direction force okay and uh, here uh, i need to choose that is a coordinate system and i am applying here the load value is 4 triple zero newton okay here click right if you get uh, this message so here uh, it shows the z axis of the coordinate system must be coincidence with the axis of the cylindrical face here uh, the z axis is uh, not coincidence with the cylindrical face so click uh, here cancel it now here get model right click and edit coordinate system click here z axis and choose here this edge okay so in we need uh, also the z direction in a backward side so get here backward or reverse okay now here you can see that the z axis is uh, co incident with the circular face okay now get here simulation just right click and bearing load first select this face and select here geometry and apply here load 4 triple zero newton okay and click right here you can see that we can't get uh, any type of message okay so right click and create mesh okay we have the result first I'll double click here and also here minimum and maximum annotation and get here floating in definition let get here mega pascal this is my automatic scale okay so here you can see my maximum stress is uh, 162.560 uh, and uh, here is my minimum so but uh, here you can see my ill strength is uh, 275.742 uh, and uh, my maximum stress is uh, happening that is uh, 162.561 so it means uh, for a uh, 4 triple zero newton load uh, this uh, clamp uh, is uh, safe uh, it won't break uh, so i am just animate it 
so here you can see okay now click right so just check displacement right click here setting and uh, get here uh, floating number okay click right here we can see the maximum displacement when we apply the four triple zero newton load so that is a point zero one six so this is my maximum displacement just animate it here we can see that this part will displace the more okay it's right here now what is the strain right click and setting just uh, get here the floating number okay so animate it here we can get the material is changing their shape right click and get here section clipping so here we can get the also the maximum strain okay cancel it so one more thing is uh, what is the factor of safety right click and define factor of safety plot and uh, click right here uh, you can see so my minimum factor of safety is uh, 1.7 so in a uh, reality we need a uh, factor of safety is uh, more than one so my factor of safety is 1.7 so i can say this is a safe design for a four triple zero newton load double click here and get here also floating now click right here you can see your uh, minimum factor of safety it is 1.696 okay now also get here stress and uh, right click in iso clipping drag the arrow here you can see the a area where is the maximum stress okay cancel it now right click setting and get here a true scale so this is my true scale and just animate it okay so this is my true scale also i can say this is the original one gem one scale okay now right here so this is the how you can find the bearing load in a solid works and uh, also you can uh, find the how to make a custom coordinate system in a solid works now just check displacement in a true scale okay right click and animate so this is my displacement in a true scale one gem one scale okay click right okay so thank you for watching thank you all